George, we're back here at the Combine in person uh, after a year away. How important is it for you to be able to get in a room with these guys in person? Like, what are you looking for? Body language, you know, we probably have six people in there. And so when they walk in, just seeing how they, they react with all the different uh, coaches and, and scouts in there. And then just, you know, asking them the, the questions and see how they react. Some tough questions, whether it's scheme, whether it's, you know, uh, part of their life and their family and, and uh, just really we want to get to know them. They're so rehearsed though sometimes. How, how do you get them uh, a little bit off their game? Do you have like a go-to question to kind of? We like to, uh, we like to get, you know, get them a little bit uncomfortable. Coach Hackett's pretty good at that. You know, he's got a little uh, system you have to ask him about. But, uh, but yeah, but you know, again, we, we try to be respectful and, and we know what they're going through. These are long days for them. We just, it's another part of the process. You know, we talked to a lot of them at the Senior Bowl, the East-West. This is another piece of the puzzle. And then, uh, you know, then we'll have our Zoom interviews with them as we get uh, closer to the draft. And then we can even bring some in with the top 30. Uh, you mentioned that your initial draft board is set. Yes. Uh, I know that this is another step in the process. How much do, will it change between now and the end of April? Well, a lot could change. Not not drastically, but this is uh, where you find out really how fast are they, how explosive, uh, how athletic, you know, and, and based on their numbers. It doesn't always translate the tape. You know, the tape is a number one thing. We always say it, you're getting some answers to the test. Can this kid really run? Can this is this kid explosive and so it, it's all part of it and then we have the pro days as well you know so it's uh it's a lot you know that you have to sift through to try to find the best players you know for the broncos you know every year it seems like in the nfl teams go from worst to first yes. do you feel like the broncos are in a position to, to do something like that you know, you never know. We're just, we're day by day. You know, we're trying to, you know, uh, we're trying to get through the process and, and we know we want to upgrade our team and and, uh, and I think we will, whether, you know, free agency and then we through the draft. I, I like the foundation that's in place for this football team. Um, and now we have to make the good decisions to take us to the next level. You know, you said you want better quarterback play there. Uh, can that be Drew Locke, or do you feel like you need to go out there and uh, do something else? You know, it, sure, it could be Drew Locke. You know, we need to play better around the quarterback as well. We always we're quick to blame the quarterback because, you know, that is the most important position probably in sports. But uh, we need to play better around them. You know, in the offensive line, our receivers need to play better, tight ends. And I think we have a talented group. And uh, so I think with, you know, Nathaniel, his offensive system, you know, hopefully we can take that next step. With uh, Nathaniel in the building now, a lot of energy. I mean, can you feel a, a sort of a little bit of a culture shift uh, now that he's been in there for a few weeks? Yeah, totally. You know, it's a different feel in the building. He has a young, energetic staff. Uh, that was his goal, and that's what he said in the interview process. So it's been fun. There's a great synergy, a lot of energy in the building, and uh, they've been fun to work with. It, you know, for a young staff, they're very confident, and uh, it's, it's been great thus far. I felt it down in uh, yeah. the digital media office. Music here. and yeah. stuff that we never really, you know, music coming out of offices, but it's, it's cool, you know. Oh.